me today for a new tutorial and I'm going to show you how to make some really fun colorful slider cards and wobbling cards using the new Sweet Summer Collection from Doodlebug. I'm going to be making some slider cards similar to this one that you see here. This was one of the first ones I made with this collection and you can see that there's a lot of really fun elements in here which are all from the Sweet Summer Collection. In this bowl, I have all of the die cut shapes and sentiments, the chit chat sentiments in here. I'm gonna mix and match them to create some really cute scenes and designs. I'm also gonna be using the Sweet Summer Paper Pad Collection and the Lawn Fawn Slide On Over and Slide On Over Semicircle die set. Using both of these die sets allows you to create some really fun slider cards. So let's first start with this card. This is a wobble card and we're going to create a sentiment that's going to wobble in this cute little scene. This one was probably the most involved out of all the cards that I created. I started by die cutting this piece of Bristol Smooth cardstock with the Lawn Fun Stitched Hillside dies and the Stitched Wave dies. After I've die cut these pieces, I'm going to do some ink blending using Distress Oxide inks. I used a couple of blues for the waves creating a really nice blend for the ocean that's going to go in the background of my scene. After I did some ink blending, I took a bit of water with the Distress Sprayer and spritzed this over top of the waves to give them a little bit of texture. I'll let this sit and dry for a while while we move on to creating the sand. I took a piece of the Lawn Fawn Vanilla cardstock and Simon's Clear Embossing Ink. I'm going to add embossing ink over top of this entire piece of paper which I will then cover with the sand embossing powder from Brutus Monroe. When I've heat embossed this embossing powder, this is going to create a really awesome sandy texture. Now you can leave it as one layer or you can add additional layers, but I liked the look of one because I liked seeing the cream cardstock through the sand embossing powder. With that remaining piece of the die cut panel that we cut out with the Bristol Smooth paper, I'm going to use that top portion that was left behind and use that for the sky. So I used a couple of colors to create a sunset and I'm going to cover my card base with adhesive so I can lay these pieces into that adhesive. And this is basically puzzle piecing these back together to create a little scene. Now we have all these pieces colored and it really looks beautiful. I did need to add a little bit more adhesive towards the bottom to make sure that the sand piece would stick because I did have some stray pieces of embossing powder on the back side. After trimming those edges off, I'm taking some of the cute little die cut shapes from Doodlebug. I've got the sun, the beach chair, and the umbrella, and I'm going to pop these up off of my scene with foam tape. Here's the action wobble. These are from Art Impressions. I'm removing all of the adhesive off of the back side and the front of the action wobble. Then I'm going to take that hard plastic piece and attach it to the back of my sentiment, which is going to be the part that's going to wobble. The hard plastic piece attaches to your element and then the flimsy plastic adhesive will attach down onto your card base. And that's going to allow your wobble card to move and shake around really fun and beautifully. I finished off the card by taking one of the die cut hearts which are also from Doodlebug's die cut shapes in the Sweet Summer collection and added that onto the beach chair. Next up I'm going to show you how to create a spin and slide slider card. That's a tongue twister. Now this time I'm going to use a lot of the fun lemonade images and some of the flowers from the Doodlebug Sweet Summer Collection. Remember when we created those waves and we had all that ink on top of our freezer paper that I'm using to ink blend onto? I'm just reactivating that ink with some water and getting a nice smooshed design for the sky of my background scene panel. I'm also going to put a little bit of green Distress Oxide ink onto that freezer paper and pick up some of the color. Now I want this to be a lot lighter than it is, so I'm going to add a lot of water to help blend out some of those colors where I didn't want them. And then with the damp baby wipe, I'm going to start lifting off the green. And that's gonna help give me a nice light grass texture. Now I'm going to take the semi-circles slide on over die set from Lawn Fawn and cut a slider track into the grass part of the panel. I'm using the Sweet Summer Collection to be a colorful background behind my slider element. And I did this for all of the sliders. I added a piece of pattern paper behind the slider. I'm attaching that piece onto a backing panel. I'm creating a panel that's the exact same size as my scene panel, and this is what's going to hold everything together. To make creating the sliders really, really easy, I'm going to be using the circle slider elements from My Favorite Things. 
I'm going to attach it down onto a circle that I've just die cut from a circle die that I had in my stash. Just use something small that's a little bit bigger than the slider track. And that's going to get sandwiched between the front and the back panels that we're creating here. So I'm going to take that slider piece and lay that into the slider track and then take the backing panel which is going to attach down onto the foam tape that's on the back side of my front panel. Now I've sandwiched that slider track in there so it can't go anywhere and that's what's going to attach to the little orange slice that I'm going to be adding on top. I'm using liquid glue to adhere all these pieces together. I added the adorable little lemonade stand and one of the sentiments from the Sweet Summer die cut collection. Then I'm going to take some of the flowers and sprinkle those in as well to help fill in the design. When this card is finished, we have an adorable little slider element that also spins as it goes back and forth across your card, which is so much fun. Another idea is this one here featuring these cute little drink glasses and we're going to be creating a fun little wobble pair. I started off by taking a piece of that Bristol Smooth cardstock and ink blending some squeezed lemonade ink into the center portion. I added some splatters and those will then get lifted off and create some pretty splatters in the background. I'm going to take two action wobbles this time and attach each one to the back side of my little die cut embellishments. As I've attached these down I'm remembering to make sure to put the hard plastic piece on top of our elements and then the flimsy plastic piece is what attaches down onto your panel. So now we have these two little glasses that slide back and forth and wobble together and look really really fun. I added a couple more sentiments from those die cut sweet summer collection packs and then of course to finish it all off I brought in some little iridescent bubbles from Studio Katia which really add a lot of fun interest to the background and complement these glasses nicely. On many of the cards I did add some sparkle using a Tonic Studios Aqua Flow glitter pen. I didn't add this to all of them but on many of the cards I did add just a little bit of sparkle and shine. And those bright colored papers are from the Sweet Summer Paper Pack collection and look so awesome with all of these cute little die cuts and make all of these cards so bright and happy. Okay so let's see all the examples that I made today. This one is the spin and slide orange that slides across the card and as he slides he also does a little bit of a twist which is really cute and fun. Now you don't have to have it slide and twist like this. You can have straight sliders using the oval shaped slider track elements from My Favorite Things. And I have both of these types listed below in the video description and also on the blog. Here's that fun little wobble card where we have the fun in the sun sentiment that wobbles across. And then we also have the adorable little glasses that wobble together and look so cute. I think this is really fun, it almost looks like they're clinking together. I did another version of that using some of the other pattern papers which I added a piece of vellum over to help mute the background. But these Doodlebug Sweet Summer Collection products work so well together in creating some awesome and bright happy cards. I hope that these have inspired you to try out some of these techniques and also try out some of the fun new Sweet Summer Collection products from Doodlebug. Thanks so much for watching. I'll be back very soon with more inspiration for you. And until then, thanks for watching. Thank you.